Greetings, dear viewers. Welcome. Today I have a poem. Uva Alhyakin, 1935 and 1937. This is a poem about the World Chess Championships contested between Max Uber and Alexander Alhyakin in 1935 and after that they contested again in 1937. There are a lot of interesting details uh, about these championships which I felt is worthy to be written as a poem. The first is that uh, Alexander Alhyakin chose his opponent Max Uber. He could have chosen other opponents as well like Bogol Yubov or uh, Great Capablanca but um, Alyakin chose uh, Uber and a lot of critics uh, felt that he could have chosen a much more strong competitor. Alyakin also felt that he had great chances. In fact, some of the critics also stated that Alyakin was overconfident which led to the downfall because 1935 World Chess Championships was won by Max Uber. And this happened and um, Uber won with great preparation. He had worked very intensely for this match he had taken help of great other great players like March and uh, Maroxi. So his preparation was quite intense and Uber won the World Chess Championships and there is always a tag attached to Max Uber that he was not a very worthy champion. Not all say this but few of the critics and players do say tend to say that, that it was not he was not a very significant world champion. Nevertheless there are a lot of good players who do support Uber stating that he won the 1935 world championships with great quality of games and chief among them was of course Vladimir Kramnik who stated that Uber's level, Uber's level was quite high in the 1935 world chess championships. 1935 World Championships done, we'll move to 1937 and this Alyakin comes back quite strongly and he wins quite comprehensively against Max Uber because it was there was a concept of rematch at that time and uh, Alyakin proves what a great competitor he was after losing it he comes back understands um, Uwa's game um, by analyzing and he comes back quite strongly and he wins. Uwa also congratulated uh, uh, Alyakin and there was a lot of uh, mutual respect which is uh, which is quite um, appreciated in the chess history and Uwa's uh, other uh, significant um, achievement is the 26th game of the 1935 World Chess Championships where it was called as Pearl of Sandwood. And both these championships was, uh, was held in the Netherlands and Uwe winning the first uh, uh, championship showcased that he had a lot of nerves to handle because it was his home country. And uh, Alyakin again <laughs> defeating Uwe in the 1937 World Championships which was held in Netherlands shows what kind of a character he was. And the other last but important point uh, is that after the 1937 World Chess Championships, Alyakin never contested for any other World Chess Championship because he held the title until his death. And this was quite rare um, in chess history where a World Championship is uh, no more and there was a tournament that was conducted to determine the World Chess Championship. These were some of the details. Let us get into the poem then. Alyakin was unwilling to play the Cuban. He instead challenged a mathematician. The Dutch master Uber was the challenger that he chose with whom he planned to trade blows. Critics do say that the champion was aware of his dominance which might have led to overconfidence resulting in an unfavorable consequence. Uber was thorough in his preparation being loyal to his vocation, he learned about the champion's game, which provided the desired outcome. The closely contested match was gripping. Into a close finish, it was developing. The games tied at 12 each at something to teach. The 26th game was a masterpiece, with uh, which a technique which was very precise. Uber played the game, which won him fame. The game deserved a salute and was nicknamed the Pearl of Zandwood. Both the players again contested in 1937 for the skills to find a haven, to seek the glory and cherish with little or no blemish. Alhyakin was fueled by his loss. His legacy was at pause. With imaginative and daring play, he was the man with all the say. Alhyakin won the rematch in style. The crown was a perfect fit. 
and as fate would have it, he held it till his last breath, until a stranger named Death took him offshore to make him explore a world beyond E4, D4, C4. I hope you liked the poem. Thank you very much for your time.